Welcome to Issue by Issue, the show where we take complex issues, break them down, so we can see what each side are actually saying. Today's issue. As players took a knee in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, someone flew a banner saying, White Lives Matter Burnley. That's the issue. There is mass outrage today in the UK over a banner being flown across a football stadium. It was the Etihad Stadium. Players were on their knees because, of course, Black Lives Matter. Um, and the banner that was flown across the stadium said, White Lives Matter, Burnley, which is a club in the UK. Now, of course, saying White Lives Matter doesn't seem that offensive, does it? It's just a statement of fact, like any lives matter. White Lives Matter is an offensive sentence. Interesting for yes, anyone really. who's confused about why that banner causes offence. Because nobody is saying white lives don't matter, but it completely misses the point of the Black Lives, lives Matter. Because I don't think that it is a contradiction, unless, of course, Black Lives Matter is something that must never be challenged. When you say all lives matter, people usually respond with, yes, and that's why black lives matter. As if black lives matter is a subset of all lives matter. And I, I can agree with that. Personally, I can't stand racializing issues like Many this. of you have been asking why the words on the banner over the Etihad last night are offensive. Taken in isolation, of course they're not. But in context, they absolutely are. They're a deliberate challenge to the Black Lives Matter cause. Now let's be absolutely clear. Nobody is saying that white lives don't matter. Of course they matter. But please try to understand. Black people's lives are not like those of the white population. We're viewed negatively and with suspicion. We're watched as we walk around shops. We don't hold positions of influence in organizations. A black person in a top business is likely to be on the catering staff or clearing bins. We get stopped and searched by the police. Yes, even television presenters. Life is simply tilted away from us. Black people have been murdered by members of organizations whose job it is to protect us. And there has been no comeback on those people. And that's not just in America, that's here too. Our lives have not mattered. Black Lives Matter. Thank you. If we say that Black Lives Matter is a property of All Lives Matter, a subset of it, then surely White Lives Matter must also be a subset of All Lives Matter. It, it, honestly, it's if that's the way you think, you are ignorant and you need to find out what it means, why Black Lives Matter has become a hashtag, mm. what it's about. If you honestly think your response should be white lives matter, you don't get it. This is such you just don't obvious get it. nonsense that you just sit there and think, God, oh, I can't wait until Piers Morgan joins in. <laughs> of course, Piers Morgan, the man who got humiliated by a literal communist uh, on his show. Football players being given more red cards than white, pe red cards than white people? White players? Just find what out. I it? can't help you. Find out. Educate yourselves. You're part of the problem. You need to find out. I can't help you. Find out. Baffling. Educate and yourself. It makes some people you're part of the problem. Really worse, but you're not allowed to be angry. You have to just take it in. Black people aren't saying that white people's lives don't matter. Black people are saying that our lives matter just as much as yours. And the way we are treated now and have been for hundreds of years shows that you don't respect. Nobody our disagrees lives. with that. And additionally. I have yet to see anyone go like, oh yes, the George Floyd thing, that was entirely justifiable. No, no, everyone agrees. The cop fucked up massively. He messed up big time. That was a terrible arrest and it ended in the worst possible way. And the book should be thrown at him with all due velocity. No one disagrees. It is the 21st century. But the education we're getting now is that black lives matter more than any other life. Are you getting that? That's how, that's how I feel. What black lives matter represented was a reaction to the fact that although all lives matter in theory, in practice, that hasn't been the case. And you're going to have to look at the unlawful killing of, of people in the States and, you know, some, and some, some instances over here. And then you factor in the lack of representation 
um, in, in, in leadership roles in the country. Um, the football as well as its own issue around black managers. So these are the conversations and these this leads to this discussion that black lives haven't mattered as much. So in some ways people of colour stand um, behind other 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 people and where whereas all we're asking for is equality and an equal Never bend the knee. Ever it doesn't matter what they do to you. What matters is that they bend your will and that's what bending the knee is. It's breaking your will to resist them. And if you refuse to bend the knee, then no matter what they do to you, they will still have not broken you. A couple of questions here, aren't there? Why is it a football club, football clubs, are on their knees for Black Lives Matter when football clubs are not supposed to be political? Why are football players on their knees because of the death of a man in custody in America? How is that possibly anything to do with Manchester City or Burnley or any other club? They're not allowed to wear their poppies, but it's fine that they're on their knees because Black Lives Matter. And play, uh, pay for an aeroplane to fly over, fly over a football stadium with the banner White Lives Matter. Because what I'm trying to say is this has been an excellent stunt. Whoever has done this, whoever has organised it, has really um, done something excellent. It reminds me of, you remember when somebody started putting out labels which said it's okay to be white? And the left and the establishment got their knickers in their knot. Knickers in a knot over this totally banal statement. That's Probably what because somebody so has spent, you know, I've, I've done some research, £600 to fly well, that plane and construct a banner to put it over the over the uh, the ETS, and it, it's no coincidence that it happened around the same time that they were taking the knee. That was planned. That was someone's put a lot of thought into this, and the, the mindset of a person to do that is: we want to divide, we want to disrupt, we want to um, cause angst amongst a group of people, a society that are trying to push a movement forward but that is moving course, towards equality. They are on their knees because Black Lives Matter. Why does it matter if a person flies a plane with a message that white lives matter too? What's wrong with that? How can it be okay for black lives to matter? I'm committed. Someone has a right to take a plane and fly it over that, if that's what they want to do. Um, I think the context of it, from their point of view, was unfortunate because it, all, it's ma all it's made it possible to do is for people to double down on why this conversation is important why these difficult at times conversations need to keep happening and why this is such an important time, possibly transformative moment. So in that sense, I would say it's backfired. We're still having these conversations. It's kept the momentum going for the last Nobody few Nobody is weeks. saying that black lives yeah. don't matter, but it completely misses the point of the White Lives Matter movement. The protests gravely misunderstand the White Lives Matter banner. The point of the White Lives Matter movement is not to diminish the importance of other people's lives. It is to highlight that white people have been denied certain human rights because of the colour of their skin. It's about equality. You turn around and say, well, what, what are they being denied? Oh, really? I'm glad you asked, actually. Very, very glad you are. I'm judged by the colour of my skin simply because I'm white. I'm therefore racist, prejudiced, bigoted, zealoted, homophobic, slave-owning, capitalist. God, the list goes on. It's unbelievable. But I'm all of these things because I'm white. And if that's how they choose to feel about me, good. If I get up their nose just by the colour of skin, good. I like that. I feel better about that. Because if these people are so racist and bigoted that just by the colour of my skin they fucking hate me, ha <laughs> ha! Like has, has that ever been a question? It has never been a question as to whether white lives matter. I have never had anywhere where someone was discriminated against or treated unfairly just because they were white. Or someone was killed by the popo just because he was white. I have never had that anywhere. So white lives matter is nonsense. They have always mattered. That has never been in question. So. It's bullshit, and of course, Burnley uh, captain came out and heavily criticised that, and that's Three totally in order. Gay gentlemen uh, lost their lives in Reading, being stabbed to death in a park in daylight. They were white gentlemen, and yet there is no mass riots in the street. No one's on bended knees for those gentlemen, and in fact, three white people were killed by a foreign immigrant from Libya, and it was obviously racially motivated does kind of appear that if a person of colour murders three white people in a park, everyone's like, oh, that's sad. But nothing further needs to be said. No more conversation, no more outrage. It doesn't matter how many terror attacks, it doesn't matter how many, 
how much interracial violence, it doesn't matter about the, the casualties on the white side of the tally. It only matters on the casualties on the people of colour side of the tally, because that's the way these movements work. Yeah, no, no fuss was made about that, really. All we've seen on social media is that the, um, the alleged... I've got to say alleged now. The alleged stabber, the terrorist, the Libyan terrorist, uh, had mental health issues, and the real victims here aren't the... Nothing's mentioned about, you know, the real victims, the people who died and their families, but the real victims are the Muslims who will yes, be... Yes, I'm very sorry for those gentlemen in that park, and yes... We should be able to say that it matters. Black Lives Matter is not meant to supersede any other lives. The fact is, all lives matter. We know that, and that's a given. It's a tourism from now on, from now to eternity. What now, all people come out with this stupid all lives matter thing. Here's the thing, guys. Of course all lives matter. Everybody knows that. I'm not sitting around going, you know what, Bob? Bob can die. I don't care about Bob. But everybody else matters. No. Obviously, all lives matter. We get that. But here's the thing. As a white man, the chances of me being killed by police, having somebody kneel on my neck for eight and a half minutes, pretty damn low. That stuff doesn't happen. Why? Because of systemic racism, unfortunately. I am fortunate enough that I happen to be born white, so therefore I am not discriminated against and I'm unlikely to die. Well, the people that push that argument are either racist or thick. Because and there's probably an overlapping of the two anyway. The, the two are probably linked, to be yeah. honest. Because they're, they're missing the point. All lives do matter, but all lives haven't been persecuted or left at disadvantage um, for hundreds of years in the way that black people's lives have. Hang on. There's a black guy who lives down the street from me, right? He owns his own house. He's the director of a company. Uh, drives an AMG Merc. Has a lovely family. Nice, pleasant guy. Police are never around there, doesn't seem to be victim, victimised, lives a fantastic um, and a nice life. He's richer than me, he's got a better house than me, a better car, I don't begrudge him that. What is the oppression he has? If black lives matter after poor black people being oppressed, there's also poor white people being oppressed and they're being bigoted towards white people. Poor white people are also being oppressed. Like I said, it's nothing to do with racial inequality, it's bollocks. By condemning um, the guy flying that plane with White Lives Matter by the police investigator is diminishing the importance of white lives. The hypocrisy is to highlight that black people are being denied certain human rights simply by virtue of the colour of their skin. What human rights are they being denied? Dolly, Doreen Lawrence is in the House of Lords. Ben, Fluella Benjamin is in the House of Lords. Diane Abbott, David Lammy doing rather well for themselves in Parliament. Rishi Sunak, uh, a non-white person, Chancellor of the Exchequer, a politician. Meghan Markle, um, mixed race, marrying into the royal family. Barack Obama, mixed race, President of the United States. What, what rights are these people not afforded? The, the black guy down the road owns his house, either bought it outright or had a mortgage. Either way, he's got the same rights as me. Obviously, he's slightly smarter than me or whatever to get what he has, but hey, <laughs> I'm not judging him. I'm not judging him at all. Fair play to him. But what rights are these people having less of than, than the white The black people? man I, I it. now I live in, in America, really I've almost got it. two different guises. There's a black man who wears a shirt and tie, who's on TV, who talks in an English voice and gets treated a certain way. There's another black man who wears hoodies and, and sweats and, and lives in a city and comes up against things, Rebecca, and these three things are... Important ...messages and we can't shy away from them and I don't feel I can because I've got, I've got children, same messages that my parents gave me. I take on board and have to give them to my children. You know, do my children then have to keep giving it to their children? Where do, at what point are we, are we starting to see progress? Because in many respects, the dial hasn't changed for 20 years or more. You know what? Systemic racism been there forever. Why would you keep it then? What is the point? What is the upside? There's no upside to white people that black people are getting killed. There's absolutely no upside. None. So why do we, why do you want to fight and say all lives matter? Why do you care enough to do that? Why don't you just support the cause, guys? Open your eyes for a minute and understand, you know what? In this case, let's be cheerleaders. We're all human. The color of our skin does not matter. But if one group is being killed, incarcerated, beaten up, whatever, it is 
the morally correct thing to do to support that group and make sure that doesn't happen. What of that when we've got something so positive going on? I see nothing positive in Black Lives Matter. I really don't. Black people in the US have woken up to the fact, and I've always been um, aware of the fact that Black Lives Matter is a leftist tool to divide and conquer. That's all it is. And it's, it's not about justice, it's about vengeance, hate and violence. For me, this is just so much ignorance surrounding Black Lives Matter. And I'm a person who's followed football all my life. And one of the proudest moments I've ever had in football is seeing Black Lives Matter on the back of those football shirts. Because now in their home, they're introducing conversations that with amongst people that wouldn't normally have conversations about the, 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 the issues surrounding We've only got five Black seconds, people. Michelle. Think, yes. White lives do matter. Yes, I'm very sorry for those gentlemen in that park. And yes, we should be able to say that it matters and to fly that plane. And to the people that organise that, please know that you're not on your own. There's many people out here who support you. Are black people being oppressed? Or are white people the ones who are truly being oppressed? Does the phrase white life matter diminish the Black Lives Matter movement? Or maybe is it just the context that's the issue?